Many people consider NCAA 14 to be the greatest college football video game ever made. And while I think 14 was a great game, easily the last great EA Sports game ever made, it wasn't perfect. As I said in my video on the game, when a sports game is the last of its kind, it ends up gaining a legendary reputation. And while I do think NCAA 14 is worthy of the praise it gets, it wasn't actually the best college football video game ever made. That title belongs to NCAA Football 06. In fact, most hardcore fans of the NCAA Football series would tell you that NCAA 14 is overrated, and that NCAA 06, despite being an older game, actually holds up better today. To put that into perspective, on a forum post questioning the greatness of NCAA 06, a user replied that in NCAA 06, the AI actually had the eye. The intelligence of the non-user controlled players in 06, I feel, is truly unmatched. You'll see a CPU quarterback spin out of a sack, actually scramble outside of the pocket, and throw a dart to a now open receiver. In the much overrated 14, You'll never see a CPU quarterback do anything close to this. Once they scramble, it's straight up the gut 99% of the time, and they will never, ever throw a pass after scrambling. That's just one example of how superior the AI is. Instead of having to rely on EA's servers with Team Builder, 06 had create a school, create a fan, create a sign, and all of those classic EA customization modes baked into the game itself. The game had FCS teams, incredible presentation including an NFL 2K5 like pregame show, historic teams, an amazing soundtrack, balanced gameplay with very little cheese, mascot games, in-depth recruiting, and an insanely deep dynasty mode, the greatest career mode in a college game, a playbook featuring trick plays not even seen in NCAA 14, the ability to import your player or draft class into Madden 06, and so much more. Now, I'm not trying to bash NCAA 14, don't get me wrong, 14 was and still is an incredible football game, and I clearly feel that way if you watch my retrospective on the game. If you want to argue that 14 was better than 06, that's reasonable. However, in my opinion, NCAA Football 06 is simply perfect. Think of how much better and deeper Madden was on the PS2. NCAA 06 was like a super-powered PS2 Madden game. This was EA in their prime, creating the ultimate college football experience. After 06, improvements on the PS2 and Xbox games stalled as EA shifted their focus towards the next generation of consoles. And while the games became great again starting with NCAA 11, in my opinion, EA was never able to top 06. It always felt like the NCAA games were underrated. Madden was higher in sales, but the NCAA games had more life. The games felt more innovative, implementing features that made the games feel closer to real life. NCAA 06 is probably the best example of this. From the very start, NCAA 06 was different than all previous EA College Football games. Desmond Howard, the 1991 Heisman winner from Michigan, was featured as the cover athlete, which was something new for the series as the previous games featured players who had just been drafted to the NFL. What's kind of crazy is that NCAA 06's big gameplay addition, the Impact Player feature, is very similar to Madden 20's X Factor feature. Remember, this game is about to be 15 years old. Up to three players on each team could be designated as an Impact Player. And out of the box, players such as Vince Young, Adrian Peterson, and Reggie Bush were some of the most notable examples of these Impact players. They had an icon underneath the player during gameplay, and these players could actually get in the zone, which would boost attributes and cause the icon underneath them to pulse. Impact players would also perform better during crucial moments in the game, such as inside the last two minutes of the fourth quarter, or when going for it on fourth down. And unlike X-Factors, the Impact Player feature was actually balanced and not overpowered. Players didn't gain unrealistic abilities like being unable to throw interceptions or randomly gaining the ability to throw 20 yards further, but instead were slightly boosted. When you play NCAA 06, you'll notice just how ahead of its time the game really was. The gameplay of NCAA 06 was pretty much the same as what you'd find in the PS2 Madden games, and that's a good thing. 
This is one of the most fun football games you can possibly play. You won't get sucked into animations, and the fluidity of running with the ball or after the catch with a high-speed player is exhilarating. Of course, it wasn't the most realistic gameplay, but the old EA Sports games never had that. Back then, NBA Live, FIFA, Madden, and of course NCAA Football all prioritized fun over realism. That said, the AI was actually really smart, and you could argue that despite the more arcade style of controlling your players, the gameplay was truer to the sport than any EA football game since. There's really nothing like hitting the open field with Reggie Bush in this game. Returning kicks is a major highlight, along with running the ball and following your blockers. It was just smooth. The playbooks in NCAA 06 are often brought up when discussing the legacy of this game. It actually has more trick plays than the next-gen NCAA games, including some that aren't even in NCAA 14. Something the NCAA games always got right was presentation, and 06 is arguably the best in the series. You get a pregame show with a fully rendered Brad Nessler and the crew in a studio, complete with team analysis and pregame picks. It shows the teams running onto the field and star players are highlighted and discussed. It added atmosphere and made each game feel important. Just like with all of EA's classic sports games, the game modes in depth were the best parts of this game. The career mode, called Race for the Heisman, was basically an RPG. You start out as a high school player looking to get into a good school, and as you play, your dorm room gets better, your girlfriend gets hotter, and your legacy grows. You can choose between 8 different positions, including defensive positions, and you get to run through drills, practices, get good grades, and live out the life of a college player. You receive fan mail, earn trophies to display in your customizable dorm room, and as you improve as a player, you'll notice that the picture you keep of your girlfriend starts to change. The game mode was about as deep as it gets, and a major highlight. Dynasty mode was incredible. You can recruit players in season and watch as they develop in high school. As the season goes on, the recruits start narrowing down their options, and if your school makes the top three, you can invite them to campus for a visit. The timing and importance of the visit matters, as you can drive a harder bargain by inviting recruits during a major matchup where your team wins. This adds extra pressure when playing because your recruits are now watching you and your future relies on your performance. This level of immersion makes playing an offline dynasty mode feel alive. If you start to recruit a lot of players from a specific state, it becomes a pipeline state and becomes easier to recruit players from that area. Eventually you'll have numerous pipeline states as you become a major force. As I mentioned earlier, Create a School was built into the game, meaning you could go ahead and create a school with the logo, color, stadium, campus, and uniforms of your choosing. And because it's not hosted on a website online, it will always be available. NCAA 06 also offered FCS teams which you could start with in Dynasty. NCAA 06 also features new at the time mini games, including a really awesome one where you can practice throwing against different coverages without the pressure of a pass rush, allowing you to practice reading a defense. These mini games are very similar to the Madden training camp games, and they were nothing but pure fun. When I play these deep game modes, I actually get invested in the players. The ability to import your race for the Heisman player into Superstar mode in Madden 06 was a game changer, and easily the deepest career mode experience available. When playing through Dynasty mode, importing the draft class into Madden simply made the franchise experience that much more fun, and for people like myself who like to create lore for their franchises or dynasties, it really adds replayability and enjoyment. Many people fondly remember this game's soundtrack, as it had a weird combination of punk rock and hip-hop, but it just worked, and today with nostalgia now a factor, anyone who played this game back in the day likely has a soft spot for all of these songs. At the time, NCAA Football 06 was the best college football video game yet, and while NCAA 14 was also great, I believe 06 ended up being the greatest ever. It checks every single box for a sports game, and even today is a blast to play. From the super fluid gameplay, to the insane depth of the game modes, to the customization options, to the TV-like presentation, it was probably the best football game EA ever made. At the time of this video, 
The game is only a few dollars on eBay, and I cannot recommend this game enough. Thanks for watching.